Well, mostly my coach uses my data from the core body temperature, um, but also after training, I just look how, yeah, the like graph, and graph went from my body temperature during the ride, um, because it's also really interesting to see that sometimes it doesn't match with what you think your body temperature was. So maybe sometimes you're cold, but your body temperature can still be, it can still be warm. So yeah, it's really interesting and really nice to see after training ride or after a race, how my yeah, body temperature was. Yeah, so for strategies about like cooling and how to manage my body temperature, I've learned about a lot about that during my swift racing, because during swift racing you're like on a trainer and it gets pretty warm. And I've seen that when I start cooling with, for example, a van or just yeah drink a lot or just cool my cool my head, that the body temperature really goes down. So yeah, now I can just uh, turn that into racing on the on the road and see that if my body temperature goes up, that it's really important to to start cooling by. Mostly drinking and sometimes just when it's really warm, uh, pour water over your head or something. So yeah, I think it's really important that we're training and racing with the core body temperature device um, because you learn a lot about your body and how your like body temperature reacts or responds to a certain training. So when you have hard effort, you can see like how your body temperature is reacting to it. So it's really interesting to see. Um, and yeah, you just learn a lot about it and you can see in a race when it's really important to start cooling uh, on a yeah on a crucial moment.